Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to the English Year 6 online lesson. Today we will learn in Unit 7 reading with the topic Healthy and Wise. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to read and understand a paragraph correctly. You will be successful if you are able to answer the comprehension questions correctly. Before we start, you can take out your textbook and open page 64. Are you ready? Here we go. So this is a paragraph that you can found in your textbook page 64. So let's read together. As usual, I want you to point to where you are reading and listen carefully. In the old days, food tasted better and was more nutritious. This is because of the cooking methods our great-grandparents used. There were no modern appliances like microwave ovens, food processors, or automatic cookers like what we use today. Food may be cooked faster in modern times, but it is not as tasty or nutritious as the food our great-grandparents cook. In yesterday's years, our great-grandparents used charcoal to cook. They would use a pestle and a mortar to pound their spices. The spices were then used to marinate raw foods such as fish and chicken or to cook curries. They would wrap fish in banana leaves before grilling the fish over a fire. They also cooked vegetables which were freshly picked from their own gardens. Thus, the nutritional value in the food was maintained and it tasted better. Now let's discuss this paragraph. Okay, ready with your pencil. As usual, if you don't understand the word, I want you to write the meaning on top of the words in your textbook. Okay? Guna pencil kamu, tulis maksud di atas perkataan yang kamu tak faham. Alright? In the old days. In the old days, maksudnya pada zaman dahulu, pada masa nampau. Okay, food tasted better. Food, makanan, tasted better. Uh, rasa lebih baik. Okay, lebih sedap. Tasted better. And was more nutritious. Dan lebih bernutrisi. This is because kerana, ini adalah kerana, the cooking methods. Methods ni adalah cara cooking, memasak. Oleh our great-grandparents. Great-grandparents means nenek moyang. Great-grandparents, nenek moyang. Cara memasak yang nenek moyang kita used, gunakan. There were no modern appliances. Uh, masa tu tak ada no uh, modern appliances. Peralatan yang modern. Like microwave oven, seperti oven, microwave. Uh, food processors, uh, pemproses makanan. Ataupun automatic cookers. Ataupun... Uh, Periuk memasak otomatik, okay? Macam periuk nasi ke, okay? Like what we use today, seperti yang kita gunakan hari ini. Food may be cooked faster. Makanan mungkin dimasak faster, lebih cepat in modern times, pada uh, zaman modern ni. But it is not as tasty or nutritious as the food our great grandparents cook. Tapi ia tidaklah as tasty, sesedap ataupun Nutritious as, senutrisi, makanan yang nenek moyang kita masak. In yesterday's years, okay, pada zaman dahulu, our great-grandparents use a charcoal to cook. Nenek moyang kita menggunakan charcoal. Charcoal ni adalah arang untuk cook, masak. They would use a pestle and a mortar. Mereka akan menggunakan... Pestle ni uh, lesung, mortar, alu. Okay. Lesung batu tu. 
kan pasal tu the song dan mortar tu dia punya alu penumbuk ni tu two pound dia spices pound ni tumbuk okay dia spices spices ni rempah the spices will then use to marinate raw food dia kata rempah-rempah tu kemudiannya digunakan untuk marinate memerap raw food raw ni mentah food makanan makanan mentah such as fish and chicken seperti ikan dan juga ayam or to cook curries ataupun untuk memasak kari they would wrap fish in banana leaves mereka akan wrap bungkus ikan di dalam daun pisang banana leaves before grilling the fish sebelum membakar ikan over a fire di atas api they also cook vegetables which were freshly picked from their own gardens mereka juga memasak vegetables sayur yang mereka freshly pick pick ni petik freshly dengan segar daripada their own gardens gardens kebun mereka sendiri thus oleh itu the nutritional value nilai nutrisi value tu nilai nutritional tu nutrisi in the food makanan was maintained dikekalkan dan ianya tested better dan merasa berasa lebih sedap okay i hope you understand this paragraph Okay, now let's go to the questions. Let's discuss them together. The first one. What is the passage about? Dia tanya, uh, petikan ni tentang apa? Okay, now let's look at the first paragraph in the passage. Okay. Mostly, the first paragraph talk about cooking methods and appliances. So let's look at the answer. A great grandparents. What is great grandparents? Very good. Nenek mo yang. B appliances. Peralatan. C food. Makanan. D spice. Rempah. Okay. So what you should what should you choose for the answer? Very good. Appliances. So what is the passage about? Is the appliances. Now let's look at question number two. What is the purpose of a pestle and a mortar? Apakah purpose, tujuan? Uh, a pestle, lesung dan juga mortar, alu. Okay, let's look at the passage again in the second paragraph. Okay, you can look at the clue. The clue is a pestle and mortar. So the answer should be near to the clue so you can find two pound okay two pound untuk me menumbuk okay so look at the uh, multiple answer a cooking cooking means memasak b grilling membakar c picking memetik and d pounding Menum, menumbuk. Okay. So, what will you choose for the answer? Very good. Pounding. Okay. Because it, it put two pound. Okay. So, choose pounding. Very good. Now, let's look at the next questions. Number three. Why did food taste better, better in the old days? Kenapa kan makanan rasanya lebih sedap pada masa dahulu? Okay. So, let's look at the paragraph again. This is the first paragraph in the passage. Okay. Okay, look at the clue. Food test better. Can you find food test better in the paragraph? Yes, there they are. Food test better. So, the answer should be near to the clue. Because... We need to use because, because the questions is why. Bila soalan dia why, kenapa, mesti jawapannya because, kerana. So, the answer is right here. You can write your answer like this. Food tastes better in the old days because of the cooking methods our great-grandparents used. Ha. Nampak tak? Semuanya ambil daripada perenggan tu je. Kan? Right. So, next. Questions number four. 
Okay, questions number four. Name electrical appliances that did not exist in the old days. Namakan peralatan elektrik yang tidak wujud, did not exist. Exist ni wujud pada masa lampau. Okay, now you can look at the passage again. This is in the first paragraph. Okay, the clue is appliances. Okay, appliances. So, the answer should be near to the clue, appliances. Microwave ovens, food processors, and automatic cookers. Okay, when the questions don't have any WH questions, bila soalan dia tak ada WH questions, tak ada why, who, when, why, uh, where, semua tu, dia tak ada tanda soal pun, no question marks, you can just write the answers straightforward. Okay, terus jawab soalan guna nombor ataupun dash. Like this. One, microwave ovens. Two, food processors. And the third one is automatic cookers. Alright? So, let's continue with question number five. Would you be able to live a life without technology and modern inventions? Why? Dia kata, adakah kamu able, boleh, live, hidup di dalam life, kehidupan without, tanpa teknologi dan juga Modern invention ni ciptaan. Inventions ni ciptaan modern. Why? Kenapa? Okay. So, you can uh, write two answers. Negative and positive. If you choose to write uh, positive answers, you can write like this. I would be able to live a life without technology and modern inventions because I used to do everything manually and traditionally. Saya uh, boleh hidup di dalam kehidupan tanpa teknologi dan ciptaan moden kerana saya dah biasa membuat segala-galanya secara manual dan secara tradisional. Oh, if you choose to write in negative uh, answers, you can write like this. I would not be able to live a life without technology and modern inventions because it will be hard for me to do anything. Uh, saya tak boleh nak hidup dalam kehidupan tanpa teknologi dan ciptaan moden kerana ia akan uh, membuatkan saya sukar untuk membuat segala-galanya. Okay. So that's it for the questions. We continue with the um, differences between cooking methods in the old days and the cooking methods in the modern days. The first one. Okay. In the current time. Current time pun masa sekarang. Maksudnya modern days lah. The first one, in the old days, we use charcoal, using charcoal. In the modern time, current time, we use gas stove. In the old days, we use pestle and mortar. But in the current time, we use food processor. In the old days, we use uh, to marinate and wrap in the banana leaves. But now... We marinate and wrap in the zipper bag. So everything is different, right? Okay. So I hope you understand uh, the passage is about. What is the passage is about? So to test your understanding, I want to, you to complete this, the exercises in the link given letter. If you have any questions, you can ask me through WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you for joining the class today. Thank you for watching this video. And you can watch this video over and over again to gain answers, okay? And to gain understanding, okay? Boleh tengok video ni berulang kali untuk dapatkan jawapan ataupun untuk lebih faham, okay? Until next time. See you again. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.